This week's video is sponsored by Skillshare. No, I lost drive. No, I didn't even think about that. That was fast. You've got two options, didn't you? Yeah. Either. Right, you're out of the room. No, no. Good morning, welcome back to another week. It's finally time for the water tank to be installed, which is rather exciting. Kev's come in any minute now. It is absolutely freezing over here, so, <laughs> so cold. next thing on the ever, then, ever ending never, never ending. ending list is to get some sort of heat source in here, whether that be log a burner. diesel heater set up or to put the log burner in because <sighs> it's going to make the build not very enjoyable throughout mm. the winter months now. So we're going to make a coffee quickly and then wait for Kev and we'll see you in a sec. Probably just seen a dirty great water tank, mate. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have missed us. He might be walking, pulling around for his kit. You got to move the boat Will now. It fit? It's quite big, isn't it? So if you're just gonna, simple as that. Should I put inside. Not much point, really, is it? Well, how are they gonna grind this out? Hang on. I don't think it fit for. Yeah, we'll t leave it in the front and when we move around we'll take it off. Oh. You gotta move it now. Yeah, but I'm going to check okay, where we are. Let's go inside. We're outside. Back in a sec. There's Kev. And Joe. Now time to move. Little keys. I lost drive. Here, or do you want me at the other end? At the other end, try to rope the cab. Gear cables playing up, only goes in drive for a bit. I feel like you're getting further away. 
away now. <laughs> huh? Come that way maybe. It just won't go. There. It won't go. There we go. Not too fast. Oh, there you go. Huh? It started doing it work before we come in here. I think it's like loose on the... Is that what it was doing when we were pulled? Yeah, that's why when we first came in here we lost drive as well. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By a boat. <laughs> We got there in the end. Want me to change your mind? No? No. No, cool. <laughs> well, I'll cut these bits out for us then. Yeah. So we can, um... Right, so you do want it cut in sort of as close as we can to oh, that, Brooke, yeah? We yeah, can just... get rid of that if this... I don't want that bit. Yeah, so we're, we're, not, gonna we're, put... we're gonna put some checker plate over it anyway, to be honest. So, oh, well, whatever what? makes it easier to get the tank. What? Um... I want to keep these to be able to keep the... The seats, but I mean, I don't know if that's struck. Would that be for oh, structure? The the, it's a bit the well, if you were to get rid of that bulkhead, then you'd have nothing supporting that at each yeah. end of those. Then would you? That's the only thing. But well, I think we'll have, I think we'll have to just knock them out just there yeah. and there, won't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, there, and then we can weld them back in. That's yeah. not a problem. Yeah. To be fair, it should slide diagonally down in and under that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully so. We'll find out, won't yeah. we? But I'll cut these out then for a minute. Finally, wait this, and then realise the tank goes all the way back there. So we're gonna have to get rid of all of that to be able to access it. But that means it's a lot nicer getting rid of this rusted metal. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I think yeah, a decade, it's not, not a lot of that. It's so big, isn't it? Massive. Should we just not have the... You can see why people get cab extensions, can't you? you How can, much yeah. space it is. One, one. Taking off the second one. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to sand this back and then put some back tan on it. Yeah. And then mushroom vents. Mushroom vents. Probably tomorrow. So if we can get them all to this stage and then let some duct tape over them for tonight. It's not supposed to rain. Just the noise, like Kev's noise, is making this noise nothing. So that's good. So as soon as we can get the mushroom vents in, there's no reason why we can't put the ceiling up and the lights. Hidden under there. How are you going to get it out? Well, I'm just going to get a bar okay. and uh, just see how easily, see if that looks like it's going to come up. And um, it's not going to be horrifically heavy, it's just awkward, really. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's 
seems quite promising. Yeah. I think it'll come up quite easily. Alright mate, nice one. Hopefully I'm not going to lose that hammer. <laughs> That'd be moving really, wouldn't it? You hear that calling. Yeah. Generally had a horrible fall quite often. They got like bearers going across, oh, and it could really? have been welded to that, and then it would have been a right game. <laughs> That's good. That's fine. Right, okay. So that's come in. Right, what I might need to do, Danny, is get up there with a longer strop and sort of pull it up. Yeah. Right. Joe can be of hand. You're all right, aren't you? That. Just can't believe how big it looks like. Bloody benches. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Funny if I fall in. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, hopefully, we we'll just have to go a bit steady. So that clamp won't slip. Yeah. But, um, steady, too bad. Do you need to move all that off the. Yeah. Just get edgy and see if we can get it sort of vaguely upright for the minute. Um, Yeah, I think you made the right decision, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I reckon so. Right, I reckon then if we can, or so if I jump down there, maybe yeah, if we can try and maybe sort of lift it, maybe lean it on that Will leg. Will it be stuck yeah. in anyway? Should it be stuck? Like... Probably rusted to the floor, but no. it shouldn't be. I mean, yeah, sometimes they, I mean, it looks like there might be a plate down there that it might be bolted to, but. I don't know, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll jump down, jump down in there and we'll just see if we can just kind of stand up on that. Stand it up on that ledge maybe, because I don't really want to take it out if I can help it. No. Yeah. <sighs> right, so in there, mate. Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah. Sort of like um, can I help? We've got to tie it up. Or is that a bit? Well, to be fair, if you can in some way maybe take this, yeah, if you can tie that back there somehow with something. Um, I've got different straps if you want to uh, around a couple of times, yeah. it'll be alright. I think that's what you do, it mate, to be fair. That's fine. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. If it lands on me, that's my own fault. <laughs> <laughs> Disassembled water tank. Yeah. Not, that it took much Not very watertight. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing down there? Just clearing out all the old crap. And when Kev comes back, we're going to size the tank up, see what way it fits best. Yeah, pretty much. It's probably a bit worse, I think. Drier though. Yeah, true. Sure. Now. I'm just finishing up editing this week's video and I want to take a minute to thank this week's sponsor, Skillshare. For those of you wondering what Skillshare is all about, it's a neat online learning community with thousands of ad-free classes for you to explore. 
Most classes are under an hour with short lessons to suit even the busiest of schedules. This has been really helpful for me whilst I've not had much time for hobbies and I've really fancied getting back into photography. Sean Dalton's iPhone Photography Essentials Take Pro Photos with Your iPhone has been perfect for me. Reminding me of things like the rule of thirds and also showing me features I had no idea existed on my iPhone. You can take a long exposure photos using the live photo mode and I have a lesson later on in this class where I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I remember years ago when my dad asked me what the best camera in the world was. I think I said something like a Hasselblad with a crazy amount of megapixels and he said no, it's the one that you've got on you. So being able to get the full potential out of my phone camera is a must. For those of you looking to reignite your creative side, the first thousand of you to click the link in our description will get one month's free trial. Now I'd better get back to editing because otherwise you won't find out if the water tank fits. Those knees there on the sides, yeah. you know, if they needed a bit cutting off the bottom. Are they yeah. like supported though? To be fair, if they were going right to the base plate, I would have more concerns, but they're not. Yeah, high. oh, they're cut, yeah, see. So I can't help thinking, I don't know, if I just jump down. Yeah, look, yeah. to me, it looks like a few inches off the um, bottom of those. Mm -hmm. And I reckon you'd be getting somewhere. I think it would be a lot better if we can just cut. Yeah. Cut the bottom of those knees off, which would be enough to because at the back obviously there's plenty of space. Yeah. If we can get that so that just drops down clear, at least then I can weld that back exactly where it was, mm. which is going to make it a damn sight easier. Um, yeah, that will, that will go down, won't it? Because I've just sort of even that out. And yeah. And if he, good. how far forward do you reckon it would go once they're cut? Because he's, he's, where that Ooh. tank fitting goes in for our yeah. outlet is touching the bloody. You've got, well, you've got two options, didn't yeah. you? Either... <laughs> well, you haven't really. No. Because it can, it's, it's got to go down, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. At the front. And if it does, because here, I mean, that is just... Yeah. Just going to clear that. Oh, it's, yeah. Minute, isn't it? Just. <laughs> what have you got to do for the pipe in there, Joe? Yeah, I've got to try and put a um, filler hose in the end. How are you going to attach that, though? <sighs> My problem, then. I've got to try and do it now. <laughs> yeah. No, you certainly, certainly gone uh, for the biggest size you've gone for there, haven't you, I reckon? <laughs> yeah, I've got it. Right. So, I don't really understand it now, but Joe's got to hold something through the water tank for it to be able to fix on the outside, like screw it in, and our arms don't reach the whole way along. So it's got to go from... Your arm goes in through there and then you've got to reach there. So Uncle Dave has kindly lent us his like litter picker thing to see if that will hold it. Fingers crossed! Maybe I'll hold that inside somehow. I was thinking of getting it down this end, picking, getting your finger holding it, a bit of yeah. silicone on it. What about that? I think that will help. Yeah. Tip it upside down, there's bits of plastic in it. What will you do now? Just cut that out? Yeah, basically if I cut that out while it's there, so I'm not going to damage that, at least I'm going to drop it down, yeah. weld it. Um, and then yeah, all I've got to do then is obviously weld your extra bits back on there. Thank you. That's alright. Um, just make a little lid that we can just trim and tap on. So can we get rid of that bit that was there and then just have like legs, did you say? Uh, yeah, basically, if I weld them back there and then I've got some angle in the van, I can get where it was joined yeah. that bulk there, I'll just weld a leg going down. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I might connect the hose on now as well. Go on. Make your life a bit easier. <laughs>
<laughs> Quite all right. <laughs> Massive thanks to Kev for fitting our water tank. We'll put his details in the description. If any of you want any work done, then hit him up because I think he's fully booked for quite some time. But yeah, really recommend him. Wow, what a stressful day that was yesterday. I'm not sure how well it came across in filming, um, but it was quite stressful. Uh, initially, we had a problem with the gearbox actually moving the boat, which set the day off. And then the water tank barely fit. Kev had to grind a couple of extra bits out for us for it to just fit and also we had an issue with the tank fitting trying to hold it in place whilst we did it up. Um, thank you very much to Kev for sorting it all out for us. Kev doesn't actually touch plumbing so it was all on me to make sure nothing leaks and stuff so it's quite stressful in that respect that I got it right so I'm just praying that nothing leaks when we finally do fill it up when we're ready. I've got a little tank fitting to put on. Kettle's just boiled. Yeah, so this morning I'm going to check the transmission fluid level. Um, if not, I'm going to try and adjust the cable again. It, it, it sort of it goes into drives, but it just won't clunk in for a couple of seconds. So I think it's fluid, hopefully. And then we're going to try and fit the mushroom vents today. Danny is um, on a webinar thing with her work this morning. She should be around in about an hour or so. Hello everybody, I am back from my training, so I am going to paint the roof or the hatches, not the hatches, what am I painting? Oh, oh, oh. I need the mushroom vents. Yeah, I'm going to paint underneath the mushroom vents so then we can put the mushroom vents on. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, so much smells nice. Oh. The sky doesn't look too pumping, but it is meant to be alright, so I'm going to go with that. Joe, I just wasted it all over the roof. Wonder wipes in, isn't it? Can I try and use it? Come on. If you want to promise to look, it's all f***ed in it. You're going to have to get wonder wipes. Sorry. Can you get it off the roof? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I know, but can you get the paint off the roof? Where do you want it? Off the roof. Alright. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Unfortunately the gearbox is the worst case scenario and it's actually the box that is gone. Um, we're going to try and get a refurbished unit but I've tried new gearbox oil, but automatic transmission fluid, I've tried adjusting cable, I've actually taken the cable off and even with the engine running and manually selecting forward and reverse it's just like a delayed by about three to five seconds. 
before it goes into drive, which is a bit weird. So yeah, gonna have to face another cost, which we were unexpected, but boat life, isn't it? <laughs> so we're gonna finish this week here. You'll probably notice that the wall isn't finished and hopefully if you watched last week's video, the wall is finished. We tried to like group two lots of weeks like yeah. over each other, if that makes sense. So we wanted so like the water tank, sense. the water tank is like a separate video mm -hmm. and a few other bits that we didn't actually get done in the end. And we wanted to continue with like the cladding. So yeah, the wall, hopefully. It's not yellow, but who knows? It, it might be yellow and then this doesn't make sense, <laughs> but we'll, we'll just remain hopeful. Oh, we'll see you next week. Okay, we'll jump up. We'll get to the top time to live. Yeah. You, you made the right decision, didn't you? <laughs> That's a cow. We'll take them aside, actually. <laughs> Yeah. I'll cut it, that. but it's not going to take much, no. is it? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a cow. <laughs> I think because it goes in on an angle, it's hard to keep coming up, up, and straight on. Oh, a bit smooth, I? No. Let me, like, just hold it, let me grab it and put it on there. Or come forward, I can't. I can't I, I'm, I'm touching. You're not, though. I'm touching that head. Yeah, come up, higher. Can we just stick it on? No, the water pressure just blow it straight back out, mate. I feel like this is a disaster waiting to happen, putting <laughs> this in without that doing it. Right, what? Without that? Yeah, but you can have an access to that anyway, and that's the only hole you've got to hold it from. So it seems yeah, like this, this is what we're holding to hold it tight. How are you going to do that once it's in? Massive thanks to Kev again for doing the water tank or for coming back for the second time. No. Massive thanks once again to Kev for finishing the water tank. No. Massive, massive thanks. Ugh. Massive thanks for... No. <laughs> now he's put some legs on the... No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you want a fire extinguisher? Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.